We are one week away from early signing day and things are heating up in the Arizona high school football recruiting scene. Welcome into the recruiting roundup brought to you by Arizona Ford dealers. I'm Jordan Ham bringing in my good buddy Jason Jewell and Jason a ton of offers to get to. But first, let's get to a commit. Jawan Price from Peoria makes his commitment. One of the most explosive players in the state, Jordan. He's a kid that averaged 15 yards a carry for Peoria Panthers. I, I love the kid a lot. He's a guy that he only had offers from Northern Arizona and from Idaho, took a visit to New Mexico State and promptly committed. I think this is a good get for New Mexico State, who's had great success recruiting here in the past. You can't blame Big Ten programs wanting to come to Arizona this time of year to check some guys out with this gorgeous weather, but multiple Big Ten programs make offers to some Arizona playmakers. Yeah, staying on the defensive side of the ball, predominantly on the defensive line. Wisconsin jumps in and offers Malik Reed from Chandler High School, Damian Sellers from Saguaro High School. Both of those players are 2020 prospects. And then Nebraska offers 2019 uh, senior uh, Matthew Polamau from uh, Chandler High School. Keeping it in the Big Ten, J.D. Johnson, one of two quarterbacks to pick up a couple Power Five offers this week. Yeah, Johnson, the quarterback over at Pinnacle High School, adds an offer from Michigan, while Will Plummer, another junior from Gilbert High, gets Oklahoma State and the University of Arizona. Memphis has heavy ties in their coaching staff to the state of Arizona, and they offer multiple Saguaro Sabercats. Yeah, all underclassmen will start on the defensive line with Alani Ma'afu, a very good defensive tackle. First offer for him, I think he's a guy that's going to be a national level type prospect. Uh, moving to the offensive line, Ty Kaysen, a junior, has multiple offers. I believe this is now his fourth scholarship offer, but the first for sophomore center TJ McCray, six foot three, 280 pound kid that I think is very talented. And then Will Shaper, a kid that plays linebacker and tight end, gets his first offer from Memphis. Things are getting only busier for the 2020 class. Two offensive linemen, Tosh Baker and Noah Nelson, pick up a couple of big offers as well. Yeah, Nelson got uh, two very ac uh, good academic school offers, D Duke and Northwestern, while Baker got those two offers as well as Oklahoma, Arizona, Nebraska, and Washington State. What a very busy week and really month that uh, Baker's had. He's completely blown up. I'm sure he's going to pick up a couple more offers by the time we're done with this segment. Jason, even more offers to get to. Let's go over some of the other notable ones from this past week. Yeah, going to have to rattle off a bunch real quick here. Trevor Cower, offensive lineman, defensive lineman at Campo Verde, adds Air Force. Uh, ben Roots, uh, Desert Mountain offensive tackle, gets his first offer from Idaho State. Colin Dries, offensive tackle at South Point, adds an offer from Montana. His first offer, actually. Zach Nelson, wide receiver at Castile, offered by Southern Utah. Brandon Shivers, a corner from Saguaro High School. School decommits from San Diego State, but added an offer from New Mexico State. And Kyle Patterson, the senior tight end at Perry, adds an offer from Colorado. And if there's not enough going on here in this very, very busy December here in the recruiting landscape, NAU just named Chris Ball, the former Memphis defensive coordinator, their head coach. Jason, how is this going to impact recruiting for the Lumberjacks? Well, NAU uh, had four kids committed to the program. One of them uh, recently decommitted, Daniel Toe, to good defensive lineman from Skyline, added an offer from San Diego State and decommitted from NAU. They're going to have to play some catch up here coming up pretty quick to make sure they, they keep the three kids they have committed and then see if they can't sign a recruiting class here in the next week or so before this early signing period. But Ball's a guy that, that has ties being, uh, he's been on the staff at Arizona State, so he's going to have to use those ties to land a, a couple prospects here pretty quick. Just a couple of days before some of the top Arizona high school football players put pen to paper and make it official on early signing day. Keep it here on the recruiting roundup brought to you by Arizona Ford dealers on Sports 360 AZ.